Hi everyone. This probably won't be a long video unfortunately. As I've already built all the floor all the way up. All I've got now is the footwell up there. Um all the spot welds are in. I just gotta grind them flat. Uh, there really isn't that much more left to do now other than once I've done that footwell up there obviously I've still got that bit of sill to repair going up but I'm going to do that when I get to the corner over there and then after I've done that it will be going around everything else touching stuff up um so I've just got to grind all the bolts flat. Do a few little touch-ups. Um, is it really? It didn't really take me that long, really. A few days to do this floor. It's all welded all the way around there. Just like you would if you put in a new floor. So from here all the way up to there is one piece. Kind of wish I did that on this side because it looks a lot nicer. But it is what it is. I've got to start building the seat base here. I've got some of it done in the corner there. I've just got to build it up. And then eventually I'll need to get that brace back in. I've measured from sill to sill, so I've got all of them settings, and I've measured it again, and it's correct. So, obviously I measured it from the good part of the sill to a good part of the sill, and it was about 136.4, and when I measured it again yesterday, it was 136.4 again. Obviously that's without the brace. As soon as I put the brace in, I've got to put a strap or something from that sill to that sill and tighten it up. So I could pull the sills in slightly to the brace. And then weld it all in. So once I've done. Actually I might start putting the back brace in. Because the back floor is done. Actually the, the whole floor is pretty much done. As soon as I've done that bit there. The car will have a floor all the way through. And then I've just got to clean all this stuff out. And go around the whole the whole car again, checking everything. And then once that's done and the braces are back in, I'm going to jack the car up, put it on axle stands and get underneath. And start cleaning all the underneath up and put some stone chip on it. So, getting there. It's getting really close now. So, let's give you a look. The wilds are good. All the way up to there, all the way up to here. I uh, filled with, this was just a little bit of a round, wore out bit of metal, so I just welded it all in and grinding it flat because it's not worth cutting that piece out when it was all the rest of it was good. So, all of this where the seat goes. So, I'll be back with you shortly, when I've grinded it all. Sorry it's only going to be a short video, but at least you get to have an update. I have got to put the doors back on at some point as well. It's been a bit. I was just finishing up doing this, putting the drain hole in. Just grinded it. I, ain't gonna, I don't think I'm going to bother putting one here. There's no point. There's one there. I'll probably find somewhere to put one up the back. And that's it. So, this is pretty much it at the moment. This is just how far I've got. So, get in there. So, there's a drain hole up there. I'll try and show you a lot more in the next video. But 
all the floor is done apart from the footwell up there. Uh, and that'll be the last hole in this car. I came out the, uh, was it the other day? And because there's no wind or in here, there was water all in the footwell down there. And my God, did I get so excited. She actually owled water. <laughs> oh, it was a bloody good sight to see. Normally the water would just drop straight through to the floor, but this time she owled water. I know it's not good having water in your footwell, but this time round it was actually ex exciting. Because <laughs> it meant I had a floor. So, like I said before, once I've done that, that, uh, hole in the football I'm going to empty everything out and I'm going to go through the whole floor cleaning it all up and obviously then I'm going to start building the braces but I'll do that corner first and then I'll be going around absolutely everything again <laughs> double checking and then after that when the braces are done I'm going to put the car up on axle stands and I'm going underneath and I'm cleaning the whole lot of the under the car and at the same time I'm going to take the rear axle off because I want to sell the one that's on here because I've got, as you know, I've got a new one now. I've got um, an, is it an Atlas? Atlas axle now, proper one, 2.3, the one that's on here for 1600 so if anyone wants to buy the rear axle off me, let me know and you can come and come and grab it. And I'll sell it cheap as well because it's no good to me and it helps someone else out. I think they're only worth about 100, 100 to £150 now, them, them ones, the 1600s. Is it col colon? Colon axle or something like that? But it looks like it's been refurbed. But it's no good to me, so if someone can make use of it, I'll sell it you cheap. Just let me know, or if you know someone who wants one. And then I'll let you know when I've took it off and you can take it. Uh, so that's it for today's video. I'm sorry it was so short. But I just wanted to give you a good update so that you can see that progress is happening. I've got one drain hole up there. I need to put one down here. I'm only going to add one. I mean, that ain't going to flood, is it? Because it's slightly up. So the water would run down here. So maybe I'll have one in the original spot here somewhere. So there'll be one in that corner, one here. Well, it'll do. That's only if I could find another one. Although the footballs, if you ever had a leak, the footballs would get wet anyway, wouldn't they? So it's important up the front mainly. Yeah. So that's it. My car has officially got a floor. And if I wiggle, the whole car moves so nice to actually have the whole vehicle moving together I've got to finish grinding all of this down so I'll see you in the next one bye bye just a quick one just showing you what I'm starting on this is my next thing I've decided I'm gonna I've put that back on and I'm going to replicate this section here for there and then I'll be repairing them. That'll be going back on the other side. And then I'll weld that back in. And then I'll take the whole thing off and reinforce it all. So that is all. Where I've done the drain hole. All that's done. All I've got to do now is just do these braces. I'm going to start with the front one and then do the back one. Just wanted to give you a little update at the end just to show you what I'm actually starting on now so that'll be what you're seeing in the next video little peak view little sneaky peek bye bye